Howdy y'all, it's Ryan from RNA Music, your mom and pop guitar shop and lesson studio. <laughs> Deep in the heart of little old Canton, Texas, that's where I'm at. I got a text. It's from Angela, who's the RNA, Ryan, and, and it's, she's the A in RNA. I love you too, honey. <laughs> Couldn't have RNA Music without Angela. <clears throat> My voice is shot. And today we're gonna do another mindless guitar lick. That's right, mindless licks. I did one uh, about a week ago. Basically this is just showing you licks, that we all have licks that we sit down and we play, that when we pick up a guitar, or we sit behind the drum set, or sit behind a piano. I think a lot of people have things that we just play that we don't even think about. You know, think about going into a guitar store and picking up a guitar, what's the first thing you play? It's probably something you always play um, that you don't even have to think about because it just, comes out in a reflex, like Ryan's reflex licks, you could call it that. But I like mindless licks a little bit better. It's kind of funny. And so last time I taught you one of my mindless or reflexive guitar licks, and today I'm gonna to teach you another one. Let's check it out. this is kind of a springboard lick I'll play this one first and then leap into something else this is based straight out of a minor pentatonic so pretty easy we're starting down in box five on the low two strings of a minor pentatonic there's a bug in here go away so we're gonna go three five on the sixth string. right then we're just gonna go to three five on the fifth string Right? Just the bottom part of your A minor pentatonic fifth position. But we're just going to use the bottom two strings. Pretty simple. So three, five, three, five. Now we're going to slide this five into the seven of the fifth string. So same string, fifth string, we're just going to slide up a uh, two frets. And now we're magically in box one, A minor pentatonic. Right, so it goes three, five, three, five, slide to seven. Right, now we're gonna continue to the fourth string, five, and then seven of the fourth string. That's not a bad lick at all, really. We're ending on an A, which is great, but I'm gonna continue that to the third string, fifth fret. Now I'm gonna come back to that A note on the fourth string. So it kind of ascends the scale in a way. Come up one, and then we come back. Right? Now that's kind of the first lick. Shoe fly. Good lord, it's summertime in Texas, y'all. We got flies. Buzz, buzz. It's buzzing the mic. I'm gonna kill you. Where's a spider when I need one? So once you play that lick, you can then springboard into something, you know, pentatonic -y. If you want to, right? Or you could continue. What I like to do as well is actually continue that lick.
So that's the longer version. Normally I just do the short version. That's a shorter lick. If you wanted to continue it, you could. It goes 3 5, 3 5, slide 7, 5 7 on the next string, 5 7 on the third string, slide up to the 9, right? It's the same shape. Right? And then we've got H10 on the second string, and then H10 on the first string. And if you wanted to slide up, you could. You end on the E, 12th fret. And then you end up in another box. But that's a longer, that's a longer version, longer way around that. Normally I just do the short. So there you go with mindless lick riff whatever number two that's one i tend to play quite a bit sometimes i play it well sometimes i screw it up because that's just life <laughs> i should probably play it more but that's one of my reflexive ones that i just play straight out of your a minor pentatonic um, so of course you can translate that to any other pentatonic scale you want to b minor pentatonic e minor pentatonic whatever you want to do very easy to translate um, so I hope you enjoyed that, and if you um, are going to practice something today, maybe give that lick a shot. It might be really easy for you. You might be very um, advanced and a great player. might be a challenge for you. Maybe you've never played anything like that at all. It's great either way. So if you enjoyed that, uh, that lick or that riff or whatever, and you want to see more of these mindless guitar licks and riffs, please leave a comment below and let me know that you enjoyed it and you would like to see more. And if you have not subscribed to Arnie Music, go ahead and consider subscribing. We like to have a lot of fun. We do answer questions with Angela, who called earlier, and myself. Ask RNA, we answer your questions about all kinds of things. And we also do gear reviews, and I'm gonna try to start doing some more lesson tips and playing tips and things like that as well going forward. At least once a week, I'm gonna try to do a lesson video of some kind. They might be really short, just like this, a simple, easy lick or it might be something more complex. We'll see. My good friend Robert Baker has challenged me <laughs> to put out uh, at least maybe one lesson video a week on top of our other videos. So we'll see if I can live up to the Robert Baker standards. I don't know, that guy's a machine. I think he's a Terminator from the future. A happy Terminator, to be sure, who kills people with his super shred licks, but doesn't really kill them, kill them. He just kills their guitar hopes and dreams with his shreddage. But Nah, Robert's probably human. I don't know. So please subscribe if you liked it, and we'll talk to you soon. Keep the music alive. Music needs you, and we need to keep it alive this next generation and beginners of all ages who are starting their journey in music. Look how sexy this guitar is. Oh my gosh. Schechter. <laughs> we'll see y'all soon, guys. Thank you so much.